In this presentation, we're going to look at lot and serial numbers for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. First, we look at lot numbers, then we go to serial numbers, and then we see how it works in advanced warehouse management. So let's create an item. So this item is going to be lot tracked. We apply the template to make it quick. And we need um, a base unit of measure. So now let's just put a unit cost and a price. And we go to the item tracking item tracking code that's where we define the rule so we're going to choose the lot full and let's see what's in it everything is ticked that means that we're going to trace that lot number for everything we receive everything in the warehouse and everything we sell So let's buy it and create a purchase, a purchase order. So we'll do it, we'll start simple on location blue. That doesn't have any warehouse management behind. And we're buying 20, 20 pieces. And when we receive it, we're going to enter the different lot numbers. So we have, let's say, three lots, A01, A02, A03. We post. And let's go to the item and see is a result so we have 20 and the detail by lot number okay so now let's sell some of these Still on location blue. We call our item. And we're going to sell four of them. And if we go to item tracking lines, we can select which one we're going to sell. So we're going to sell one of A02 and three we're going to sell three three of A03 okay we passed and we're going to see see remaining items we have Okay, that's our 16 items and we have the detail by lot. So let's look at serial numbers which work. It works pretty much in the same way as lot numbers. So we create again quickly um, another item. So when we use a lot or serial numbers, the system doesn't use a FIFO method, even if it's FIFO is indicated, it's assigned 
which item you sell to which item you bought on a lot by lot or serial by serial basis. So here we've done the same. We have full tracking of this serial uh, of this uh, item. It's possible to to have the tracking only for the purchase or the sales side, but here we choose to have the full tracking. So we're going to purchase five of them, and as we did for the lot we can enter them one by one or we can choose to can have a nav to create the lot for us if you do cr create customize serial number we start let's say as T03 okay and so we add eight so eight so your numbers have been created. And again we're going to see the result in the item ledger entries. Eight records. So let's now look at how it works with advanced warehouse management. So we're going to reuse our first lot track item, but in this case we go we using the white location, white location which is full warehouse with directed put away and pick. So we buy twenty of them. And in the advanced warehouse, we need to create create a warehouse receipt. We say which one, which lot number we receive. So let's put a couple of different lot numbers. and post the receipt. Okay, so our items are in the one of the received bin. We need to post the put away that is on the good handling multiple orders. So put away has been created and system tell us where to put the item. So we're going to, to choose not to put everything in the same bin. So we're going to split the line and we need to do it not on the take but on the, on the place. So here on the place we're going to say three are going to be in bin number nine. And we're going to use another bin for the nine others. So J02 is going, the lot number J02 is going to be in two different bins. Now, now we're going to sell them, sell a few of them. So still in the white location, the advanced warehouse location. So we want to sell four, we release and in advanced warehouse we create a warehouse shipment. Shipment is created, we need to, be, to pick that, so we create a pick 
and we go to the pick. Okay, we would like to have the lot. Just to make it easy, let's put the lot number next to the bin. Okay, we don't need serial number here really. So let's, we need to select the right lot number in the right bin. So we want four. And we're going to take, so here in the lot number by bin, you see where they are. So we're going to take one lot number from J1 in bin number 9 and we're going to split the line so that we can take another lot number. So we're going to take J02 in the bin 7 and you see that J02 is in two bins. Okay. J02 and we need to indicate also that we took these two lot numbers so let's place that just in one bin so bin 01 with the two lot numbers okay all good we can register the pick it's done and now it's ready to be shipped. We don't have to indicate the, uh, the bins are the lot here. System knows what we picked. Let's look now at the what we have left. If we go to the bin contents, we see 6 in bin 7, 10 in bin 9 and we have the breakdown by lot number and bin. Now let's look at the physical inventory. Depending if you are on a f on full warehouse, advanced warehouse or not, you would you would use the I, the physical inventory journal like here for location blue. We ask what we have for this item, 16, and let's say we only count 14. So to count the difference, to say which one is, we need to, to go to the item tracking lines and tell the system where the difference is. So let's say our two items difference missing are one A02 missing and one A03 missing. So we we indicate just the difference on the physical inventory journal. Whereas, let's go now to the advanced management, do also a physical inventory, so warehouse physical inventory journal, just for our item, location white. And here the system pre-populates with the detail by lot number right away and you indicate how many do you have per lot number. Okay, so what else we have in our setup? So again, you can set up what you want to track, everything you receive, things you ship, and we can define also expired um, dates and warranty dates. And you can define the rule of the expiration manually or on the item card. With that, it's possible also to set up your location to use a first expired first out so that the system tells you which item to pick first.